What's up guys, Adrian Marquez702 here making another news update on Fire Emblem Fates for the Nintendo 3DS. And um, yeah guys, the hype with Fire Emblem Fates is going on right now. Very, very awesome. I'm super excited once again for the game once it comes out. Like I said you, you know, to you guys before in uh, my last channel update actually, I said I'm going to be doing a lot of that game once it comes out next month. So be on the lookout for that and um, just get ready for that because that's going to be a series that's super consistent on my channel and I'm really, really excited to just cover it and I just um, am really curious to what you guys have to say about this whole thing because I do know some Fire Emblem fans in my um, you know my subscribers and I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about the whole game and everything like that and what, do you, what exactly do you think about it and um, yeah I just really like to hear what you all have to say but um, as you all can see I have this picture uh, from Twitter um, I actually kept this since January 4th I made this custom uh, customized AM702 um, picture, and then it says AM702 smashes the wife, <laughs> like, I'm just, I don't know, I was just fooling around on Twitter, and I was just super, super excited for, you know, Fire Emblem Fates, and although I know, you know, the Robin avatar is not coming back in that game, still wanted to kind of express my, my love for the avatar in this game, <laughs> and, um, yeah, but the purpose of this video is to tell you all about the petting feature in Fire Emblem Fates that was actually removed by Nintendo. And um, if those who, you know, don't know, this was a feature you could do when you have two units in the same room. And this feature was kind of a way for you to get closer to that one unit. Not like support, it's like another version of support, but not really. So I'm going to show you guys a quick video. We're going to go on YouTube real quick. And we're going to be searching the petting feature in Fire Emblem Fates. And you guys are going to be a little weirded out by the time you're not watching this anymore. Okay, so let's type in Fire Emblem Fates Petting Petting Feature. Let's see what comes up. Okay. So yeah, there's already a video from Etika over here because he always covers this kind of weird stuff, but you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and as you guys can see. This kind of looks like a, like a hentai kind of thing. But trust me, well, I mean, you, you guys can see for yourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to mute this. Wait, okay. So let's, um, let me see, you guys can see this. Alright, so here we go. This is the petting feature. You take your stylus and you rub people's faces. Girls' faces too. So like, see the facial expressions. Like what she's saying. Look at look at this. I mean, you can't hear her because I muted the the video, but you can obviously see that she's she's quite seduced by what you're doing, um, and it looks kind of um, a little explicit to Nintendo. So <laughs> I just can't help but laugh at this because look at this. It's like I don't even know. Now, God, I don't know what to say about this feature, man. It's just that. I, I like the feature, I just don't know why exactly you need it. I mean, you can obviously see she's, she's very seduced by you touching her on her face. Now, here is the issue with that in Nintendo's eyes. Basically, Nintendo thought that this was a way of showing sexual affection for other units in the game, and it's kind of in a way like sexual activity in the game. Although, this game is with a T for teen, and I still kind of think this game should be like an M rating if we're going to have any of that. And still, it's not even sexual contact if all they're doing is touching their faces. Like, this is the, the kind of thing that upset me from Nintendo. I'm not going to pull up any articles because, honestly, I don't really think it's necessary. I do, however, um, you know, I did hear about it and everything like that. I'm just, it, it's kind of stupid. Like, so... I told you guys in the beginning of the video, they removed the feature because they said it could possibly count as sexual activity, or not even sexual activity, sensual activity, and it's not even that, because all you're doing is taking your stylus and rubbing the girl or guy, rubbing the girl or guy's faces, because something that happened in Fire Emblem Fates is that you can actually um, have same-sex marriages, which is... Um, I guess a good thing for people who are, you know, like that, and I, I definitely respect it, I'm not against it at all, but you can do that as well, like having a guy pet a guy's face, I don't know, but, and, you know, vice versa with girls. So, I guess you could say it's kind of, in a way, like, weird, 
but not to the point where you should remove it. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what I really think about this because, like, it's not really necessary. But um, the reason why I'm on Twitter as well is because I wanted to show you guys the tweets that I made yesterday. Um, not this one. But yesterday I was actually in Etika World Network's live stream that he made um, about Fire Emblem Fates and about this topic in particular. So, you know, decide, because this game is getting really close to its release and he was covering something like this, I really wanted to show this off because it's very important. And considering that Nintendo removed this feature is something I should talk about for sure. So, um... Yes, yeah, so, in the live stream, uh, Etika's live stream, he was talking about, you know, everyone was in there, where there was almost 2,000 viewers in that live stream, and we were basically talking about why this feature was removed, and what was exactly the reason for it, and we looked up articles, we did all this kind of stuff, and nobody, and nobody in that stream thought it was necessary to remove the feature, there was no debate, nothing like that, and some people even decided to, or at least posed the idea of making a petition against Nintendo about this feature being removed. Now, I wouldn't go that far because, I mean, it's not that necessary to do, and plus, you know, 2,000 people is not compared to, like, millions of people um, at Nintendo, so, like, it's not really worth doing it, but, yeah, there were a lot of people complaining about that, and a lot of people upset <laughs> that you wouldn't be able to do the feature. Now, here's what I tweeted yesterday during the stream. Uh, there was a hashtag Fire Emblem Petting going on uh, during this live stream because Etika made it that way. So I said, the waifu system is amazing and I feel like as if the whole thing brought me brought more fans. Now Nintendo is taking it all, like almost all away. So that could be kind of debatable against, well not very deba debatable because it's a good point. Um, next I put Nintendo is butthurt because they just take away everything from the American releases, which is kind of true, because as you all know, Japan, you know, when it comes to Fire Emblem or any kind of game that is, like, teen rated or up, they get the full experience, and the American versions of games from Japan originally, they get, like, the, like, a cropped version of the game. That's kind of what Etika was saying, um, as well yesterday. So, like, I don't know what, I don't know what, okay, I need some time to think about this. I don't know what was the reason to completely take it out, because there were some people also who saying, you know, they don't really care about the feature, they could care less about it, and it doesn't really make a difference, because it's not really part of the game. But at the same time, it's a good extra, you know, bringing more variety in an RPG, and it brings a lot more fun aspects of the game, like, don't you think? But even though you don't really care about it, why do you have to remove it completely? Like, I don't really see the reason. And then, my next tweet was, Nintendo shouldn't be able to prevent me from at least looking at Camilla's boobs either. Oh my god, okay. So now I gotta look up Camilla. Uh, as you all know, she is a character on the north side of the game. So we're gonna go back on YouTube, and we're gonna go back to the petting feature, except with this one, we're gonna be looking up a different character. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta calm down. Camilla petting. Fire. Okay. Um, Blum, Fate. Okay, okay. Let's look at this. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Oh god, okay, let's look at this, let's look at this. It's called Fire Emblem If Skinship. Okay, this was back a while back in the J um, Japanese version of the game. So this is Camilla. She is the, the bad girl, kind of like a Tharja. And... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can see that this is kind of perverted. Woo! 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 Damn. Okay. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So that's what she looks like, and this is the petting feature with her as well. Now, I can see why some specific characters could kind of find it a little bit sexual, but at the same time, it's not a sexual activity. It's just you petting their forehead, their faces, and nothing else. Like, you don't get to, you know, grab them, them boobies, but you don't, yeah, you don't get to do that. So, I don't really see why Nintendo has to be so strict with these games, even though this is not an E-rated game, guys. You guys obviously know that. This is a teen-rated game. Again, I feel as if it should be a mature-rated game, so that way you would be able to do more things, and that way you don't have stuff taken away in these games. I just don't really see why Nintendo finds it so bad that a small feature like this can be taken out so easily. I, I don't understand that. So, there we go. That is Camilla. Um, that is her petting feature thing. But, I don't know. Um, let's see. 
and here are the people that were actually in the live stream that I retweeted their, their tweets. Um, Fire Emblem petting was also completely optional. It doesn't affect the gameplay that much. It's like super training and a me in that sense. So he's relating to Pokemon um, a me, a feature in Pokemon X and Y. So basically you can pet Pokemon and make their stats stronger for a certain amount of time. Now this is kind of similar to that, except you could do a lot more in that kind of feature than in this game. Like, for specific Pokemon, you'd be able to, like, do weird stuff, and that wouldn't be counted as sexual. For an E-rated game, mind you. And it's just completely stupid that a petting feature, like rubbing their head with a, with a stylus, can be taken out so easily. Oh, God. If you want to get rid of censorship, tweet this, uh, Nintendo of America. Uh, petting people's heads is apparently too lewd for Nintendo of America to handle. <laughs> I like that one. Um... Fire Emblem Fates. I paid this for the special edition, and I feel that they should not remove that this one thing. That removing it is forcing you to play it. Okay, and then we got Ultranic 24, my boy. Why do you want a waifu petting simulator in an RPG? I'm like nigga, what? <laughs> but um, yeah, that that's what everyone else had to say about this whole thing. Um, Ultranic. I mean, Dominic. He doesn't really care that much, but these people they actually have some really good points, and you know. I, I definitely agree with them. I just don't really feel it's necessary for them to take away this feature. But, what can you do? Um, so, if you do want to get the full full experience of Fire Emblem Fates in that way, and getting that feature, I guess by the Japanese version, and port it over to your 3DS, if you're really that desperate, but at the same time, it's just upsetting, man, because Nintendo is taking away a very good additional feature in an RPG, a very hyped RPG, mind you. So it's kind of sad. Well, not sad, just really aggravating to see this happen. And it's not. It, this is not the first time. Think about it, guys. You have you have six to seven year old. Okay, maybe not that young, but maybe like nine to ten year olds buying like GTA V, and their parents buy them for them. And yet, there's so much in that game, an M-rated game, mind you, which has so many things. You can go to a strip club. You can go to, you can freaking blow people's heads off. There is tons of nudity. And there's also blood and gore. And yet, parents, th parents think, oh, yeah, it's a game for kids. Yeah, right. Even though it says like, M oh, 17 and up. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And I'm not saying this because I'm saying kids should not be playing inappropriate games, even though that's a good point. But I'm, not, I'm just saying this because why, I mean, you can't really blame the fans, per se. You can't really blame the game. You have to blame the parents because they're buying games like, more mature games for younger children, mind you. Like, some kid who bought the Corrin DLC could be like, Oh my god, Corrin is a really cool character. Uh, what game is he from? Ooh, Fire Emblem Fates? I want that game. And that the parent, the parent will buy the game for, for the kid, and then all this stuff will be revealed to, <laughs> revealed to the little kid. You know, all this, the, the flashiness, the, apparently the, the sexual activity with the petting. And it's not, it's not their fault. It's, it's the parent's fault. For buying these games for their younger children games like this guys are meant to be played for older audiences like at least 13 and older yeah i mean you gotta face the facts i mean you have little kids playing gta 5 on a regular basis it's crazy but i'm gonna end off this video because it's been long enough we're already we're already at like 14 minutes almost so i'm gonna end off this video here so thank you guys so much for watching if you all did enjoy this news update on Fire Emblem Fates, or just a discussion, um, I've been doing a lot of discussions lately, and I'm really enjoying them because I get to kind of talk to you guys about this whole thing, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the whole petting feature, and if it was necessary for Nintendo to take it out, or if you think you, you don't really care, and you don't really care much about the whole thing, but um, just let me know. really love to hear what you guys have to say, and um, yeah, if you all did enjoy it, make sure as always to smash that like button for me, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, guys, um, thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome.